we simply like to indicate to you a lot of kindness is coming to your globe. Not just from us personally, but also from you personally. Know that humanity, once again, as a race, is ascending into kindness. 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 Kindness is your nature. It is what you are. Please, please remember your true nature. Simply be kind and smile to people you do not know yet. Maybe they become close friends, who knows? Hello everybody. It's the 8th of January today, 2023. So happy new year for everybody. Um, I hope your new year started out well. I'm taking it easy these days. It's nice to rejuvenate and recharge. Uh, but of course, I get a lot of visits still from the beautiful beings in the light world with messages. And today, the elders of the Galactic Council came by. Most of you know them from the Zoom calls. And they said they really would like to share some information. So I um, allow them hereby to share their message. Let's see what they want to say. Sua, sua, nyataka. Sua, sua, nyataka. Sua, sua, nyataka. We are always at your disposal. The elders of the Galactic Council are here here for you and with this message we simply want to indicate some kindness kindness of the extraterrestrial world has always been with humanity humanity has never been alone as a race on this globe she has always had company company from the star beings company from the inner earth civilizations company from beings that came to the globe and left they came and they left they came and they left. Many different civilizations and beings and natural states of awarenesses have been present on this globe to serve humanity most of the time with a lot of kindness. The elders are here to serve you with kindness again in this year ahead of you. What is exactly ahead of you, you might wonder sometimes, even though the practice of being present in the here and now is a true enlightened mastery practice, the real practice also comes from knowing a little, little bit what might be ahead, sinking into relaxation and then taking each here and now moment as it comes with a deeper relaxation and a more open heart. The elders of the council have received a little permission, you could say. A permission has been granted from higher galactic councils, you could call them. There is always a group unity field that decides or coincides what might be the next steps to share upon. Every time we as elders from the stars are gazing down, we see many new changes ahead of us. Every time we gaze down, we see more kindness coming to your globe. Every time we gaze down, we also see opportunities ahead that might interest you. The next few weeks, January, February and the beginning of March, are very important portal weeks. These weeks specifically, also the rest of the year, many climbing activities will take place. The Ascension is having a nice, nice 
waveform you could say, but the next few weeks to come are extremely important portal days and portal weeks, as we could call them. This has not even anything to do with alignment of certain stars, full moons, eclipses, and these things, even though they might coincide, it is not the reason why this is occurring. The reason why these portal weeks are ahead of you and us is because inner Earth is opening its doors. This is a very important step in the alignment of humanity's ascension and the ascension of other races that already inhabit your globe. Every time again, when from the inside out, new races are opening up, new bonds are being made, new connections are being felt in the heart, a very big jump in consciousness can be the result. This is what is currently taking place in Inner Earth. Every time you might wonder, Inner Earth, Inner Earth, will I ever go there? The answer might be, yes, you could. Especially in your sleep, you might travel to further away realms where you can easily figure out with your astral projected bodies. Every time you consciously would like to connect with Inner Earth, you can also travel there consciously. Ask your friends from Inner Earth. It can be Lemurians, it can be Tunneloids, it can be all sorts of other civilizations that you have met before, including Arcturians and other races. Ask them to take your hand and travel into the globe. In Inner Earth is where a lot is coinciding these days. Many civilizations and old Lemurian landscapes, so to say, are binding together. They are forming new bonds of unity. The more ancient civilizations are bonding once again, the easier and more widespread the fields of consciousness become. And of course, the beings on the crust amongst humans, most of all humans, the others are already ascending much, much more easily. They are benefiting from this. Currently, many extraterrestrial races are gaining access and permission, we could call it, towards the realms of inner Earth. We have called it, so to say, there is specific layers where extraterrestrials can park their craft or build smaller or larger hubs or settlements. If we would say inner Earth contains four layers, we only had access thus far to layer one and two, currently layer three and four, so deeper into your earthly realms, we have received granted permission. This is a very important next step in the ascension. This does not mean extraterrestrials will fix the ascension or serve humans only to ascend. This is not the case. We are in fact also waiting or aligning with the collective group field of where humanity is aligned right now. If humanity would not have opened up the crowns, we would not have gained access to the third and fourth layer. Luckily, a lot of extra light these days is gained in the crowns of many humans, be it the ones who are very consciously connecting with us and themselves, or be it the ones who just live their lives, but maybe, maybe they are in search of something else, something more that might deepen their relationship with their life here on the globe. As a star elder, I'm from Arcturus myself, I would like to point out every time you are in search of something new, something new will pop up around the corner. Just keep your eyes and your ears and possibly also your non-physical eyes and ears open to what might all of a sudden pop into your life. New people, new opportunities, words or books or names that keep circulating in your field that might want to trigger your attention. Every time you ask, one way or another, an answer will come back to you. My name is not so relevant. We are with many elders from different councils and sub-councils. The one thing we all have in common is a high dimensional perspective on the ascensional process. We simply like to indicate to you a lot of kindness is coming to your globe. Not just from us personally, but also from you personally. 
know that humanity once again as a race is ascending into kindness 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 is your nature it is what you are please please remember your true nature simply be kind and smile to people you do not know yet maybe they become close friends who knows Every time you feel in your heart, I want to exchange a smile or a kind word or a compliment, please do so. People become more and more receptive because of this. It is an important glue, an important accelerator and facilitator in the ascensional process. Simply be kind. The greetings from Arcturus, Sirius and the Pleiades are there. Many of the Galactic Elders are observing humanity all day long, all day long. We are supporting your process with holographic images of how the world can look like once the energy systems of humans are naturally opening up once again. Every time again you might wonder what could be my next step in life. Just contemplate the quality of kindness. Kindness for yourself and kindness for the ones around you. The ones you do know, the ones you don't know. Simply put, could it be easier? Just a little bit of kindness can change the world for good. Greetings from the Star Elders. We are ready to serve as we always Sua, sua, nyataka. Sua, sua, nyataka. Sua, sua, nyataka. Mm, thank you. Thank you, dear Elders. And thank you for watching. Many blessings. Have a wonderful 2023 with a lot of kindness. Bye-bye. <laughs>